I was unfortunately involved in a illicit drug enterprise and uh, I was kidnapped and armed robbed by this group from Mississippi and uh, there was a high speed chase on the interstate where I pursued him into Baton Rouge and I shot one of them. Shelby was typical. Shelby came here with a pure rogue, an animal, for about four or five years. And then finally he saw the light. Shelby's real, real intelligent, very, very smart. And he finally saw that I'm not doing anything to help myself, and I'm being an animal, and I'm gonna change. But he changed it in himself, and he didn't do it to fool anybody or anybody else, he really did. And he started following the rules and began one that started helping other inmates and other people, and he would, he would actually, uh, he lived a real moral life. I came to Angola in 1986 with a 16-year sentence for manslaughter uh, that the judge had intervened on my behalf after my trial and reduced my secondary murder conviction to manslaughter and sentenced me to 16 years. But unfortunately, the district attorney filed an appeal and the appellate court overturned the judge's ruling, ruling and ordered him to sentence me to life. So I was re-sentenced to life in 1987. When I went to Hurricane Katrina, he's one of the seven. And I took with me because we could totally trust him. And uh, during Gustav, he kept our generators running for other prisons. He went to Rayburn, he went to Phelps, and, uh, he's, and uh, he could do what we couldn't do, our own staff. And he willingly helped and taught others. And uh, then he started our reentry program. Really, it was him that spearheaded it as far as the inmate side and uh, took pride in himself and got all his certifications and, and started teaching the other kids. So here's what he did. He changed from being a taker to the giver. Totally given of himself for anybody else in this prison that he could help. Well, I went up on August 22nd of this year and uh, I received a five to zero vote favorably for recommendation to reduce my life sentence to 45 years with good time and credit for time served and uh, eligible parole. Now if he gets out, we're going to miss him really bad. But he shouldn't be held up because of that. And the other thing with Shelby, there's no victim objection. None. I have reconciled with the victim's family and uh, the victim's, in my case, his daughter traveled from Mississippi to testify in support of my release. And the other thing, the third thing with him is, he, ha his, he has a good friend that owns J.P. Oil Company, and his wife went to school with Shelby, all through school, and knew him as a kid, and knew he was a quality person, and he never used the drugs. He did the drugs to make money. And so she knew that he strayed, and once he did right, they want to help him, and he's going to work for J.P. Oil Company at an oil field in Bakersfield, California, so he's leaving and going to get out of Louisiana and go out there and work and help them, and uh, they have the job lined up and everything. So he's got real good support, you see. Plus, this family has history knowing him all his life, so they trust him that he's, he's okay, and they've spent a lot of time with him and talked to him, and they're ready to take him on. They even gonna put him in his house. They gonna he's gonna they got everything covered for him. So see, he won't have to do anything but just work and get a check. So he's got all the outside support he needs. He will not mess up. He will be he will not be back. He needs to go home and be a productive citizen, pay taxes. I'm ready to go home. I'm ready, and I have a lot of support. And I have a guaranteed job in uh, Bakersfield, California. I'll be leaving Louisiana, and my employer is assuring anyone that to support me in my effort to be released that uh, he's going to put me on a plane personally and I'll be in Bakersfield, California. And I'm going to ask the governor to really consider this one. And I'm going to point out that I've only recommended three now. And this is the third one. And the other, one, other two, one worked and one just didn't get out because of the victims. But I'm 100%. And I wouldn't ask him to do it and put my career on the line if I didn't really know it and believe it.